Today I'm working on this King KP-130 pellet stove. Having trouble with the igniter. It stays on all the time. Even when the unit's off, it's glowing red. We'll remove this back panel by removing these Phillip head screws. So I'll remove this upper and bottom screw. Here's all the goodies. I'll start unhooking all this and I'll be able to know where to put it back in reference to the video. So these here, I think is the heating element. No, this is the heating element right here. Got these two reds here on the very bottom. Heating element wires. All right, so you just push down on that and it pulls out. One on the side here, very bottom, you got a push tab. I'll put a dime in there, pull that out. So I found a gentleman on the YouTube platform that repairs these controllers. So I'm gonna send it off to him. I'll put his information in the description. So there's been a change in plan. I made contact with the guy that repairs these units. I discussed what this unit is doing and he told me the price, what it would cost to fix this unit. And it was a bit more than what I expected. So I told him to hold off and I'll look at my options. So I went to Amazon and eBay and I found several of these units for sale on eBay at different price range. Let me show you the back. So we got a different contrast in boards, however, all the components and labeling is exactly the same. And a lot of eBayers were not posting a picture of the side panel. And I have a three prong plug here. So I asked a few eBayers if they would share a pic, and they did. Some had the plug, some didn't. This eBayer had it, so I made the purchase. This was listed as unbranded, but I found this exact board on Amazon. I'll post the link in the description. I think that's the same brand. Now, the only problem this board had was the igniter would not turn off. All other functions work perfectly. So we'll install this and see if it does the same. On Amazon, they list this as an upgraded program for your stove to work at peak performance. So there might be some differences. So I'm gonna start from top to bottom. This one I forgot to show when I took it apart. I already had it unplugged. It's a three prong plug right here in the top. Slides right on. It doesn't clip. Then we do the two bottoms here in orange. And that is labeled pressure, pressure sensor. Then we come down here these are the heating elements. I'm going to plug them in last because the wires are short. So we come over here, and I believe we'll call this the master plug. Delivers power to the unit, and then the unit sends power to each component in the stove. So we come over here, and there's that side plug. It's not listed. I'm not sure what it does. Maybe it's because my unit is featured with a wall thermostat. It just plugs right in. Now we'll mount the board. The last two hookups is the igniter, top and bottom. All right. So, everything's plugged in. I've already checked the fuses. So I'm gonna apply power to the unit and put the camera on the control board and it should cycle. As Soon as I connect power to the unit, I should have combustion blower, auger, and igniter simultaneously. 
it. Scrolling through factory settings. It says era nine. Guess I'm in trouble right from the start. Hmm. I'm beat. How do you clear that? That seemed to work. All right, we got combustion blower and auger. I'll check the igniter. No igniter. Uh-oh. Perhaps there's a purge cycle? It's not warm. Perhaps the door has to be shut to meet vacuum. I can hear the auger running now. That's working. So I have a heat gun. It's not heating. I just noticed something. I can see that thing glowing cherry red, but it's not reading. Look at that. 107 degrees. So what I'll do, I'll put my pellets in. Add some pellets. Wait for it to light. Oh yeah. She's smoking. It's already in the burn mode. You can hear the exhaust cycling. Check out the smoke coming out the exhaust. So before the initial burst of fire, you get a lot of smoke, which is normal. Let's go check the front. Oh yeah, she'd be burning. There goes the auger. So I'm gonna have to fast forward this until it gets warm enough to turn on the room fan. Let me turn it to high heat. No more smoke, and it's not very hot. It's just warm. Low temperature exhaust. So, I'll have to check into that ERA 9. Don't know if that's because it was a new controller. But we're gonna find out. It's working as it should. After the room fan comes on, then I shut it down to make sure the heating element shuts off. There we go. That's on low. So that probably will ramp up. Nice. And it's got one more speed higher than that. Okay, so all the components are functioning properly. Now I'll go through the shutdown process. Off! Man, that was a... I don't know what that thing was. It screeched to a stop. So at this point, the auger shuts down, burns out, cools down, shuts off completely. The room fan should be on right now, but it's not. Because there's still heat in there. Not sure why I did that. Because the fan cools the unit down. It's the first thing I see that's not working correctly. It takes a good seven to ten minutes to disperse that heat. Okay, that extra sound you hear is the room fan running very slowly. With the old controller, that would stay on low until shutdown. So I guess this board does it differently. More of a quiet shutdown. It's pretty cool how this works. Just before it's ready to shut down, it loads a few pellets so it's ready to light for the next time. Or if you have a wall thermostat, it's ready. That's awesome.
the igniter is cool to the touch so that's working properly so this controller checks out good and what I'll do in fast forward is restart it and light it no longer getting that era 9 it's filling the burn pot and I'm just gonna let it go on auto for the igniter everything's on auto high heat I'm fast forwarding through all the sequences so the video is not so long. What I noticed on the second light, as soon as it got a flame and got a little bit warm, the room fan came on and ran very slow. You couldn't even hear it, but delivered a nice strong heat. And then as it got warmer, it ramped up as needed. So that's a nice feature over the old board. All other components work the same. I'd like to thank everyone for watching. Hope this has helped someone. If you'd like to see how to change the igniter or a deep dive cleaning of this unit, I'll provide a link right here, over there.